Okay, hello everyone. Thanks for dropping by. You're very welcome. Right, so today I'm messing around with solar panels, uh, or about to, let's say. I have a professionally built solar panel on my house and it works great. Uh, I'm going to put something on the roof of the shed and I'm just kind of uh, getting a feel for it. I have 150 meters, 150 yards or, or more of um, this black heavy gauge pipe. Okay, so it's... Um, you know, it's really tough stuff. Light gauge would be better, but this is what I have. So, to make use of it, what I was thinking of doing was um, putting some of it on the roof and bringing it down to um, some sort of hot water storage system, uh, which I can easily do. But just, uh, it, it, you know, we're heading for summer here in Ireland. Ireland obviously doesn't get as hot as California, Arizona, Texas, uh, <laughs> anywhere really, you know? So it's, it's fairly cold. So anyway, so in direct sunshine, Laying on a patio, uh, this pipe with the, the probe inside is getting to 25 degrees, okay? So if I just, you know, use the air to cool down the probe, you can see it going down to, I don't know what the air temperature is here today, 15, 16, 17, something like that. By the looks of it, 17. Okay, so, now, if I put the probe inside the one that's inside two bottles, Okay, so just these are just two mineral or two um, soda bottles, okay, with a bit of the same black pipe inside. Uh, the deal is it keeps the wind off it, but uh, maybe it has some sort of magnifying effect on the um, on the, the black pipe as well. A bit like, you know, inside your car, your dashboard gets really hot. So I'm going to push it into about the middle of it, which is, say there, you know, that's yeah, ish, that's ballpark-ish the middle and we'll see what it is so we're reading 17 at the minute you can see that I think 17 and we'll push that in and see what it is now same type of pipe one sitting in the air but on a, on a patio and the other one inside a couple of bottles which are keeping the wind off it and also maybe boosting the heat a little bit okay so you can see it now it's gone uh, 27 28 and we'll see we'll give it a 29 <laughs> okay 30 so there's at least a five degree you know if it rises there's a five degree difference at the moment six degree now okay seven degrees now i don't think it's going to go an awful lot higher than this but what we've got is um you know it, it's uh it's four o'clock in the afternoon so we're not at peak uh, sunshine if you like uh, 12 o'clock would have been you know noon obviously and uh, the Sun would have been at its highest between say 12 and 1 um, at the minute we're at 33 degrees and that's a significant difference so on a hot day now it's it's, uh, it's kind of overcast ish um, th there's kind of a, a misting of clouds but I can see the Sun uh, but at 34 degrees you know that's telling me that if I you know if I get some bottles and uh, I do th this sort of an arrangement. Um, I can end up with temperatures in excess of 34 degrees. Now that's centigrade, okay? So uh, I'll put um, I'll put something up on the screen that shows what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, so 35 degrees, 34, 35 degrees. It's pretty good. Now what I've got is I've got 100 meters or 140 meters, I think, of this pipe going around my garden, and it's laying on the grass. Okay, so. Um, let's see if I can show you that. Okay, so that's my garden, and uh, this pipe is going all the way over. That's just a garden hose, but this black stuff is going right the way around the garden and comes back up here. Now I'm just going to show you this. So that got to 34 degrees. There's actually water in this pipe, or there was. Well, it will be in a second. Again. Okay, so this is what this pipe has been standing there with water in it for about an hour and I'm just after pushing some of that hot water out by putting cold water in the far end. And pretty quickly we're down to 25 degrees, which is what this one got um, with no water in it. Okay, so um, the wind has a significant effect on it and also the, the ground as well, you know, the soil. Uh, in the garden, it's it's in uh, it's sitting on grass, which is leaching the heat away. Um, somewhere hotter, you'd get away with that, but here I'm not going to. So there you go. So 25 degrees, the same as if it was just air inside it. 
Um, that's that's wet. Just take the heat down, put it back in the bottle again. You can see I'm having having an effect on it. So we'll just cool it down a bit. Again, we're going to put it into about the middle. And we're looking for a rise in temperature. Sun's not as strong now, so the sun was on it a minute ago, but you can see it rising. Okay, this is heavy walled stuff. It might be better to use tin walled stuff um, while doing it, but I have 140 meters of it, and if I'm going to do it, I'm not buying anything. I'll just, you know, throw this stuff up on the roof. Now, um, if you had kind of a clear hose that this could go through, that'd be great. Um, if you could feed it down that length of hose, maybe you could get rope and pull it through with some rope. But um, I have a couple of things in mind as for how to do this, and this is just kind of exploratory. This is just seeing will it work. And it does. And the birds are uh, singing, you can probably hear that. Okay, so there's my dog begging. She just ran away with the um, the test piece of pipe. So uh, she's waiting for me to give it to her and say, yeah, that's okay, go ahead and take it. But, um, all right. So that's what we've got. We've got 35 with the bottle in the sun at the minute. And uh, the other one was at 25 and didn't really get any higher. And uh, and that's it. And uh, Bella, okay, girl. All right, see ya. Bye. She's gone off to chew that in the garden now. <laughs> okay, so that's a thirty tube unit for my roof, and I'm going to go inside now and, and have a look at the the, uh, the display, and uh, see what we're getting. <laughs> Okay, so here we have a professional solar panel installation. Uh, I did this myself a few years ago. Uh, it works really well. Um, I have 30 tubes, vacuum tubes, and I heat a 300 liter um, hot water storage um, in the house. And at the moment, the, the lower part of that hot water storage cylinder or uh, tank is 52 degrees, and the upper part is 52 degrees. Um, so my collector is at 56.1 degrees centigrade at the minute and, uh, and rising with the look of it. So you can see it, um, I'm getting about 35 maybe, so 20 degrees in the difference between the you know, makeshift uh, DIY soda bottle and um, you know, a professionally made um, vacuum tube system. But you know, it was a lot of money and uh, you know, a coil of pipe can be <laughs> gotten for free or for very little. So, um, you know, if you get 30 odd degree water out of it, centigrade, um, I'll figure out what that is in Fahrenheit, uh, you're actually doing all right. And that's in poor Irish sun. You would get an awful lot of heat out of that in, um, you know, somewhere warm. And it's not hard to get places a lot warmer than here. So look, uh, that's where we're at at the moment. I'm going to progress this a bit further. I'm gonna make something now by way of a solar panel now that I've gathered enough information. Um, you know, I'd say we could get into the 40s, no problem. Um, you know at midday that sort of thing we're ready to take it on so um, okay so that's it look uh, if you like the video please like comment share subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video and uh, thanks for sticking around bye for now